welcome to my off the set video. Today we are going to be going to Cafe Crepe, which is my favorite place. And we're going to be seeing a very familiar face that rhymed. Um, we're going to go home and meet my family. And then we're going to go horseback riding, which I haven't done in a while. So it's going to be a really fun day. So let's get started. Okay. Let's eat some crepes. How are you? I'm good. Things are so good. I don't have a life right now. Ah, uh, true, because you're Which so is busy great. with your movie. <laughs> we start filming in like two, three weeks. Which is not real life. I can't believe that. Hey guys. Even hey. Hi friends. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, so good, thank you. I'm gonna order okay. for both of us. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a strawberry Nutella crepe. Okay. And she's gonna do strawberry Nutella banana. Excellent, thank you, ladies. One of the first times we came here together, I'd had a really bad day. You'd, you'd like to say it was a happy um, memory. <laughs> no. So yeah, I had a really bad day, and Sarah was like, <laughs> "Hey, like, do you want to go for craves?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah." So I went and I vented to her about like my whole day and like what it was like. So this is the picture. <laughs> and what do you do when your friend cries into her crepe? You take a picture. That's that's what you do. I am just as excited every time you give this to me. I've had probably 50 of Thank these. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness. That. Thank you. Thank you so much. <gasps> I think if I had to choose one thing in the world for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, this would be it. I don't think I'd ever get sick of it. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye, have a good one. You too. Jeez. Okay, now we are gonna go to my house. And it's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna meet my family and see my piano, which is like absolutely my favorite thing in the world. So let's go. Hey guys, uh, welcome to my house. In a couple of seconds, you guys are gonna come in and meet my family. Come on in. So these are my parents. That's that's my my dad. <laughs> This is my mom. And these are my dogs. That one's Ozzy and this one's Gilly. My family means the world to me. They are my best friends. She was always a performer, even from like yeah. day one. You know, those ballet recitals when you're like three years old and Sarah would literally be in the, we'd arrive and be watching and she'd be doing something completely different than everybody else. But she often would look at us because we had the camera and she would be pointing at the camera for us to turn it around so she could see herself. The flip screen. The flip screen. And then she'd, she'd see herself and pay, pay no attention to the place that she was in. And she'd go... <laughs> <laughs> Constantly. Yeah. Constantly. So Sarah all loved of our... camera from a very young age. I grew up in a really musical house. I always loved the piano so much because it just looks like a piece of furniture and then such beautiful music can come from it and it's from you. And music to me, it, it really does symbolize family more than anything because like, that's what I grew up with and they were the ones who introduced music to me. We have a piano duet, yes, we the do. two of us. Which one? We have this one duet where it's a challenge because we start slow and then she has to follow me and I speed up. Well, I mean, it's good you caught me leaving. I mean, I'm, I'm off to the barn, and we're about to go riding, and I am so excited. So here we go. So we are at the barn, as you can tell. This isn't my house anymore, because there's a horse right here. Hi. Um, his name is Dibs, and I'm gonna be riding him today, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in our little lesson. Growing up, in anyone's class, there is always a crazy horse girl. I'm talking like the girl who had stickers in her book of horses and would like talk about horses all the time and was just so obsessed, would watch Flicka over and over again and Saddle Club, that was me. <laughs> and I remember reading that somewhere and I was like, there was never a horse girl. Oh, and it was me. I rode all through middle school. And then when I got to high school, things got so busy and I was doing the show, so I didn't horseback ride as often. But um, I love horseback riding, and and it's been a great like discipline to learn safety first. Good 
My name is Carolyn Godson. I'm the head trainer and barn manager at Mearden Farms. So with Sarah today, we just gave her a little bit of a refresher lesson. She just wanted to come out and have some fun. And she just wanted to feel what it was like to be back in the tap. It's a hard workout. Anyone who says equestrians are an athlete, dead wrong. So we're gonna look nice and tall. Good. Was that fun? Yeah, that looked really good and you held your position really well. When I'm riding, all I'm focusing on is what's right in front of me. I think that's a hard thing for everyone is like slowing down and just remembering where you are instead of thinking into the future and all that. I, I love riding because it, it gives me that break that I, that I think everyone needs. I think you did really well. Thank you. I think she learned it's, it's a big workout. <laughs> it is. I just, you forget, you know? Yeah. And Dibs did his job well. He did. <laughs> It was a good, successful ride. Good. And I'm very happy I got to do it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me off set and seeing what I get to do when I'm not at work. I had so much fun showing you my house and going to Cafe Crepe and doing all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys another time. Bye. <laughs>